Hello, dear students. Welcome back to the course Industrial Waste Water Treatment. And today we are going to start another unit that is unit number two waste minimization and treatment options uh, the outline of today's lesson is based on benefits of treatment of industrial waste water okay and another topic we will discuss that is cost of treatment of industrial waste water so first let us talk about benefits of treatment of industrial waste water you know any project if there are no benefits then it's not worth to do it okay there has to be benefits or other way the uh, negative impacts so let's try to understand the benefits of treatment of industrial waste water now if we talk about benefits of industrial waste water treatment we divide it in two segments one is tangible benefits and the second one is intangible benefits so if you look at the definition of tangible benefits it is defined as accumulated worth of products and services originated directly from the project so now here our project is wastewater treatment it's etp effluent treatment plant now what are the products and services originated from this etp so our product obviously it is treated waste water it is treated up to the standard stipulated by pollution control board or the ministry of environment forest and climate change so think over benefit of this treated waste water the other part services what are the services originated from this affluent treatment plant etp obviously the etp requires operation and for operation it's a source of employment people are designated or appointed to operate this ETP. So it's a source of employment. Plus, ETP also requires maintenance. So there's a team of experts who is designated with the job of maintenance of various equipments and parts of this ETP. So let's look at the various benefits of wastewater treatment the first is increased production efficiency how if your waste water is treated you have dedicated and if in case of wastewater is not treated then the industry might be served closure notice by the respective agency so recently in kolhapur region 
some sugar industries and other industries were served closure notice because of not treating the wastewater to the designated or stipulated standards. So, the closure obviously results in loss of production. So, if you are treating your wastewater, then you are complying with the rules and there won't be any hampering of production because of the non-compliance. Second benefit that is tangible, rebates or tax exemption for recycling or reusing wastewater. Now, if you treat your wastewater to stipulated standard, obviously the treated wastewater possess such characteristics that enhances its recycling or reuse potential. Nobody would like to just waste or throw away the treated wastewater. So, it can be reuse in the industry for uh, production or it can be recycled like using it for gardening purpose or for toilet flushing. So, if recycling or reuse is implemented, obviously there might be some incentives from the government and there might be even some exemption in taxes. So, these are tangible benefits. There is some uh, amount you can convert into this benefits. Okay. Then the number three is reduction in cost of fresh water intake. Obviously, if you recycle or reuse your treated waste water apart from rebates or tax exemption from the governing authority, the fresh water intake is directly reduced. How much is the quantity of water recycled, reuse direct in the same proportion there is reduction in intake of fresh water by the industry. So, as I have explained earlier, the industry has to pay cess, water cess for the water it uses, fresh water which is procured either from ground water or surface water. And the rate of this water cess is much higher than the rate of water which we use for domestic purpose. So, here once again that is monetary gain and the last tangible benefit is cost saved on fees of legal experts and fine for non-compliance. So, if the wastewater is not treated then obviously it is non-compliance violence for which there will be case fight by a pollution control board against the industry. Fine will be imposed and when there is a legal case against industry, industry has to spend money on fees of legal experts who will represent the industry in the court. So, there will be expenditure on fees of legal experts as well as industry would have to pay fine for non-compliance. All this money would be saved if industry installs or constructs ETP and meet the 
stipulated standard. So now I hope you have understood there are tangible benefits of wastewater treatment. The next part, intangible benefits. Now, what is the meaning of intangible benefits? So, these are the benefits which we cannot express in terms of money gain. Yes, there are obviously benefits, but these benefits you cannot convert or express in terms of money. So, all such benefits, they are called intangible benefits. Now, for a moment, pause the video and think which are the intangible benefits of treatment of wastewater. As I have already shared with you, tangible benefits and explain you meaning of intangible benefits, I hope it will help you to think about intangible benefits. Okay, so just think over all such intangible benefits. I am sure you might have thought on various benefits like good public relationship, the industry which complies with the law obviously has good public relationship. The surrounding is not affected by nuisance of release of untreated wastewater. The second benefit, clean image of industry. You know the certification like ISO 9000 or like ISO 14000 that is specially for environment, health and safety. What are these certificates? The, the certificates actually uh, exhibits a clean good image of industry. It tells that the industry is committed to standard operating procedure taking care of its employees as well as environment. So, it is very very important especially for marketing the clean image is very important. The next benefit is improved conservation practices. When wastewater is treated, its reuse or recycling potential is increased and this results in water conservation. If water is conserved, especially fresh water is conserved, that means we will have access to clean water for more years. So, this is also intangible benefits. The next benefit is conservation of nature and history, which otherwise would have been affected negatively by release of untreated wastewater which causes various nuisance and the last intangible benefit is potential for development of area which area area surrounding the industry for residential as well as industrial purpose so if wastewater is treated and disposed of as per the standards stipulated, then the area surrounding industry obviously it remains clean, free from pollution and 
hence there will be potential for development of the surrounding for residential purposes or even setting up of other industri industries so these if you see are the benefits you cannot calculate or estimate money gain from this benefits but still obviously they are benefits so that's why these benefits are known as intangible benefits okay so i hope you have understood the two types of benefits tangible and intangible benefits arising out of industrial wastewater treatment so it is always beneficial to treat wastewater now if industry decides to treat its wastewater obviously it is expensive affair there are various costs which industry will have to bear it so first is construction of affluent treatment plant or etp so it's a structure there will be involvement of civil engineers requirement of land requirement of money requirement of resources okay so construction of etp now this etp has to be in function for treatment so there will be operation and maintenance cost operation will require employment of people expert then there will be requirement of electricity for pumping for aeration and even chemicals to be added so there will be operation and maintenance cost now as we discussed earlier compared to sewage industrial wastewater requires extensive treatment hence the etp will have additional units which are not required for treatment of sewage additional unit obviously additional cost and all the cost incurred for treatment of wastewater it is directly added in production cost because when companies do cost benefit analysis the cost of construction construction and operation and maintenance of etp is added to production cost and hence we should take all possible measures to minimize this cost because this cost is a point or the angle of industry from view point of industry it is cost which reduces profit of industry and hence industry will uh, be interested to take all possible measure to keep this cost minimum okay so today's lesson will end here and in next lesson that is lesson number 4 we will study about various methods to reduce the cost and first we will learn methods of volume reduction for industrial wastewater which will result in reduction of cost of treatment okay so thank you everyone and we'll meet in the next lecture